Hello everyone, welcome to the Peer Buddy Art Class. My name is Mia. Today, in the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom, we are going to learn how to do string art. In my spare time, I love to paint, and these are some of my paintings I have painted in the past. But today, I am going to show you how to paint this one. But wait, we need to check our schedule. Review our schedule, review materials, review our keywords, do our lesson, and then wrap up. Let's get started. Reviewing our schedule is all finished. Let's review our materials. We need at least three paints. You can choose whatever colors you want. We need multiple strings, pieces of paper, or one, doesn't matter. Need a paper plate or cardboard to put our paint on. When I paint, I use my very own palette, but today I think I will use cardboard. Reviewing the materials is all finished. Let's talk about keywords. Our first keyword is paint. Paint is a colored substance. Our next keyword is pull. Pull is a force you use to bring something towards you. Our third keyword is palette. Palette is something you squeeze and mix your paints on. This is my palette, but today for a palette, we are gonna use cardboard. Let's put this word on a word wall. Our fourth keyword is zigzag. Zigzag is a pattern we are going to use for our string. Our last keyword is string. This is string. Reviewing our keywords is finished. Time to do our lesson. Remember, the first thing you need to do is prep your area. Protect your clothes and protect the furniture. I used a plastic bag and maybe some napkins for any spills. Here are the steps. If you have them printed at home, you can follow along. If you don't, you can watch me first and then we'll do it together. Step one, gather our materials. We need paints, string, paper or something to paint on, and a palette. Today I'm using cardboard. Step two, squeeze paints on the palette. You can use whatever paints you want and squeeze them in any pattern. I'm using green first. We are going to squeeze onto the palette. My next color is blue. We squeeze it right neck under the green. Squeeze. Should be enough. My third color is purple. Again, right under the blue. Let's add that again. Green. Right under purple. Remember to close your paints after 
you squeeze your paints out. Blue. Right under the green. And last but not least, purple. All right. Dip strings into the paint. You're going to take one string. Remember to use two hands. We are going to dip it in the paint and roll. Let's add another string. Remember, two hands. Dip it in the paint and roll. Let's do one more string. Two hands, dip it in the paint and roll. If your string is too long and it is sticking out of the paint a little bit, you can grab the three strings and pull. Step four, put strings on paper in a zigzag pattern. Let's add the string first. Let's pull it out of the paint. And create a zigzag pattern on to the paper. Let's grab the second strip. Remember, zigzag pattern. Our last string, let's put it here. Perfect. Step five. Pull strings off the paper. So, grab all three strings and put your two fingers making a circle over the strings. Now we're going to pull. It's so beautiful. We're gonna put this right over here to dry and let's do it one more time together. Step one, make sure you have all your materials. Step two, let's squeeze the paint onto the palette. Remember, you can use whatever colors you want in any pattern. I'm going to do the same pattern as last time. Dip your strings into the paint. Let's use three again. Remember, two hands and roll it in the paint. Two hands. Roll it in the paint. One last string. And 
remember, if your strings are sticking out of the paint, you can just do that. Pull it a little bit. Oops. All right. Step four. Put the strings onto the paper in a zigzag pattern. Let's take this one. Zigzag pattern. Let's put this one. Let's put it right about there. And the third, where should we put it? I have lots of space here, so let's put it right about there. Remember, in a zigzag pattern. All right, perfect. Step five, pull the strings off the paper. Now remember, if you don't wanna get your hands dirty, you can simply just take the strings and pull. how that turned out. This is amazing. The lesson is all finished. Now it's time to wrap up. Thank you guys so much for joining me at the Pure Buddy Art class at the Illinois Autism Partnership Virtual Classroom. Aren't these paintings beautiful? We made them together, and I know yours looks different than mine, so please post it at the Easter Seal Chicago Facebook page with the hashtag virtual classroom. Remember, ask a parent or a guardian to post anything online. My name is Mia. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.